Welcome back. Well, it has finally arrived. Sanwa Week is in the building and it is alive and well. Boy, we have a lot of cool instruments for you this week. We've got LCR meters, we've got multimeters, we've got clamps and oh, so much more. Hey, the fun has just begun. Fasten that seatbelt. The ride is about to begin. As always, a great big thank you, Sanwa Electric. Instrument Company Limited, Tokyo, Japan. Thank you so much for all of your generosity and you have really been a boom to the channel. I'm really looking forward to these reviews. Starting things off is the CD800F from Sanwa, digital multimeter with a twist. CD800F all the way from Japan and look at that boxing. Wow, I'm telling you, Sanwa sure knows how to make you smile. Beautiful, beautiful packaging as always. Ah, oh, loving it. In the box, well, let's take a look, shall we? Nicely done. So we starting off with the multimeter itself and we have manual and our certificate. And oh, something else in there. Oh yeah. It is a hanger of some sort or a carrying strap. Take a look at that in a second. Every instrument purchased from Sanwa comes with one of these. This is a Sanwa proof certificate of inspection, just guaranteeing you that the Sanwa quality has gone into each and every Sanwa multimeter or instrument that you purchase. We're actually getting three different user manuals, uh, Chinese, Japanese, Italian, and of course, English. As always, Japan quality uh, exudes again, even in the documentation itself. Uh, perfect English and really clear, concise instructions. One thing I really impressed me with Sanwa instruments per se is compared to some of the other big name vendors, uh, Sanwa does go out of its way to try and explain not only the, the uh, features or function set of the device that you are um, getting, but also how to use it. They really have some very good uh, uh, in-house tutorials in some of the manuals explaining um, exactly how to perform uh, measurements and testing. So uh, kudos Sanwa, it's really great and highly appreciated by a lot of users who perhaps might not be uh, electronic engineers, but they still wanna get down and dirty and uh, figure things out on their own. So it's really nice to have that uh, explicit documentation. So this is a true RMS little meter. The CD800F does boast uh, IEC 61010-1 CAT4, 1000 volt compatibility. Uh, True RMS, as I mentioned, and it has a, a nice backlight, which we'll take a look at later. Um, once again, uh, all the specs are here. Now, this meter is made in China, not in Japan, as you can see right here. But uh, from what I've seen uh, as of late, that really does not impact anything in terms of the Japanese quality. Uh, don't forget those factories are still being mandated from Sanwa, Japan. So they're still um, <clears throat> being held to those tough Sanwa standards. And we'll see just how good that build quality is shortly. Now, something else worth noting is that this meter ships in its own case. And wow, what a case it is. I mean, look at the quality here. Look at the plastics, uh, excellent. Definite top grade, top tier molding. Um, beautiful, beautiful job, Sanwa. And you've got that nice Sanwa embedded logo in the case itself. Very nice. So this is the battery compartment, which we'll take a look at shortly, but let's pop it open and take a look at that meter. And there we go, just pops open like that. And look at that. There is our gorgeous CD800F in all of its Sanwa glory. Oh, nice, very nice. Now, once again, this meter is composed of the case itself. So it is one and the same. That case is always gonna be there when using the meter. Um, also, it's quite a heavy meter, surprisingly. Um, I was not expecting it to be so heavy, but once again, that usually does exude quality as well. To gain access to the back of the compartment, you have one Phillips screw here that will not come out. That is in there for the long term. And look at that. There is our two AAA batteries that are powering the unit. Nice brass threaded insert there to gain access to that battery compartment. And wow, I gotta tell you once again, this is a heavy little beast, I'm telling you. Wow, very, very nice. Now, interesting, as you can see, we have what looks to be um, a fuse placement here without the fuse. So originally when they had designed this, uh, I guess there was a fuse that was gonna go there, but um, alas, it is not here. Interesting. 
Start off with a closer look at that selector switch, starting with the off position. AC volts up to 1000 volts plus frequency. DC volts up to 1000 volts. Resistance, a diode, continuity, and capacitance. Finally, NCV or electric field testing. Finally, at the top of the range selector switch, we have our select button, also a backlight, range, rail, and max min, and finally the hold. At the bottom, not too much because these jacks are permanently embedded into the meter. Basically, it's telling us we have a true RMS multimeter with a Cat4 rating of 1000 volts. Let's turn the meter on, shall we? Initially, it takes us into AC volts. And yeah, let's have a close up of that display. Very, very nice, very crisp, very sharp, very vibrant. Um, you can see there is a lot of reflectivity in it as well, just because it is such a clear display. So we do get some of that glare associated with that. Now, if we turn on that backlight, look at that absolutely gorgeous backlight. Uh, I love that orange, that sunset orange. Um, very, very, very nice. As mentioned, those test leads are permanently embedded into the meter. You cannot remove them. Um, yeah, there they are. Very, very nice test leads. I have to say they're branded with the Sanwa logo and they are the T43T series. Uh, they have that nice safety shroud here. If you want to lose a cat rating, take it off and you're greeted with a nice pointy gold plated Sanwa tip. Um, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, I just can't say enough about Sanwa leads. You know, um, these have always been some of my favorite test leads and uh, just just love them. These have a Cat2 uh, 1000 volt rating. Um, no, no worries there. Anyway, all in all, to say this is a gorgeous test lead, um, some people might find it a little bit small. For me, it's okay, it works. Uh, an extra inch or so wouldn't have been bad, but then you're you're dealing with the meter housing itself, so it might have been a bit hard to implement. But uh, all in all, very, very nice. Starting things off in DC accuracy mode, 2.500 volts was what we want to see on this 6,000 count display. And look at that, 2.500. Beauty. Oh, it's a little bit of fluttering back and forth. I'm going to give it to you for 2.5. Okay, let's switch over to 5.00 volts. Come on, Sanwa. Oh, we're so close, 4.998. 7.50 is what we need, and yes, Sanwa CD800F delivers. 7.50 volts, okay, last one, 10 volts, 10.0 volts. Survey says 10.00, excellent. Good job, Sanwa. All right, we are in AC mode right now, sitting here at 60 hertz. Excellent. We're going to hit our select button again, and bada boom, bada bing, 120 volts AC spot on. Take note, there is no tilting bail or backstand on the CD800F. No, no, no. Unfortunately, it would have been nice to have some sort of a little stabilizer here, so of course you could set it down, but unless you have some sort of a stand, uh, you're gonna be looking at it permanently down on the bench, like so. Taking a quick look at resistance, sitting right now at two mega ohm, looking good. Let's take it up to five mega ohm. There we go, nine mega ohm. No worries, now it is a tad slow. Let's try 100K, 1.1K rather, 1.1. Try 1.3, that's better, 1.6, uh, 2 mega ohm, all right. Finally, let's go back to 3 mega ohm, 3.0, okay, 7 mega ohm. Yeah, so there is a slight delay, um, not the fastest reading meter in terms of resistance, uh, goes up to 60 mega ohm max. Finally, in terms of resistance accuracy, we should be seeing 100 ohm and very, very close. LED mode, here we go. Starting off with the green, yes it is lit, and there's our forward voltage drop. The yellow, no worries. 
Over to the red, yes, lit with a forward voltage drop. Over to the blue, it is lit, and we have a forward voltage drop. Finally, the white, yes, excellent job. Sanwa, five for five. Wouldn't expect anything less. Finally, a standard silicon diode, no worries here. Output diode voltage is a balmy 3.2 volts. Next up is capacitance. Now this is unfortunately where the CD800F falls a little flat. We have a maximum capacitance rating of only 600 microfarad. Ah, uh, yeah, that is just really low. Let's check the default TL43T test leads for resistance. So we do have a little bit of resistance, about 0.2 of an ohm. Now we do have a rail feature on the meter. So we can just hit that rail. And there we go. Let's try that again. And there we are back in business. So always nice to have that rail. Uh, finally, continuity. Remember, we have the stock test leads permanently attached to the meter. So we're not going to be able to try those pro bastards. But let's see how good these San Juan leads are. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Loud, latched, and loaded. Beauty. That's about, I'd say, a 10 out of 10. Eighty-four point eight decibels coming out of this little CD eight hundred F. That's loud. Next up is NCV or EF mode, as Sanwa likes to call it. You see at the top we have that little indicator arrow. That is the pinnacle or crux of that NCV detection. So really not that loud. There's not a visual indicator as well. Another cool feature with this meter is it basically has a memory mode for that range selector. So right now we are in continuity and if we change that selector, let's say we go to DC volts and we're gonna come back say 10 minutes later and check our continuity, it is gonna go right into that continuity instead of defaulting to resistance. Once again, if we change it now to say capacitance, uh, we walk away, come back and it goes back to the last range you were in, very nice. Another neat feature with the CD800F is whenever you hit over 20 volts, you see there's an uh, indicator, the screen flashes and it tells you you are now in what it considers to be high voltage, anything over 20 volts. Finally, the CD800F has that max min memory feature. Uh, basically what happens when you press that rail button, the meter is going to enter its max min mode in which uh, the measurement is going to be fixed. So the uh, auto power save and relative value measurements are automatically cancelled. So whenever you select that button, the display information will change depending upon the maximum or minimum voltage. So let's hit that max min. So the voltage is going down now to 26 volts. And let's just take it a little lower. 22 volts. And we're gonna bring that voltage up and you can tell we're not getting an indicator. Take that voltage back down, 18 volts, and boom, it's letting us know. And I've disconnected the power now. If I go back into the maximum, we will see what our maximum voltage was, 29.98, and the minimum went down to, well, 0.01 because I turned it down completely. So a neat little feature, the max min. Um, yeah, how useful is it? Well, I think it's pretty darn useful. For me, it's better than a standard touch hold because at least it's something that you can monitor and uh, go back to look at later on. Good job. Alrighty, that is it for features. Yes, there is no current, not even milliamps on the CD800F. No can do. Let's take a look at the inside and have a quick tear down. Get into the meter is quite simple. Really, you have that one threaded insert at the bottom and that's it, that's all. The rest is strictly a little bit of wiggle and jiggle and it comes off at the back as simple as that. Excellent. Now, if we take a close up, 
You know what we're gonna look at first, you know it. And the answer is no, no shielding on the CD800F. If you take a look here at that nice, big, juicy, high powered resistor, gotta love that. And here we have our battery connectors. And finally at the top, our speaker piezo. So really not much going on on this side of the PCB. That is a screw probably holding in the selector switch. Here we are on the reverse side of the PCB. Now remember that the CD800F does not do current. So no current shunts, uh, nothing at all in that uh, realm. What we do have though is a couple of nice big PTCs here on the voltage side. And as well at the top, we have uh, a gas discharge tube as well. That helps to protect against transients. So some uh, pretty good input protection here. Here's the um, rotary selector track for the rotary selector switch. Definitely gold plated pads. Um, very, very nice. Uh, a little bit of a diode clamp going on. And here is the soft touch buttons, zebra strip, and of course the display. If we take a look at the other side of that selector switch here, there is our rotary selector switch with our nice track pads and good quality ABS plastic going on in the housing as well. Those uh, two positive and negative terminals, nice thick gauged wire soldered in there really well. Um, definitely not going anywhere. The main LCD, we have the brains of the meter. This is the High Technologies HY12P65. Uh, has a built-in precision oscillator. It's also the onboard 4x15 LCD drive, driver. Um, True RMS, all the brains right there, beauty. And as well, uh, there's our tin can oscillator. And you know what? I am trying to see if there is any sort of extruding protrusion for that NCV, but this is it right here. That's it, that's all. So that's why we have that indicator arrow that is our embedded NCV non-contact voltage, AKA EF finder for the CD800F. Closing thoughts on the Sanwa CD800F. Well, this is definitely a very nice multimeter. It is a niche multimeter though. It is not designed for everybody. It does not do current, so that is gonna turn off some people right away. Also, the fact that the capacitance mode is so darn low, that is also another faux pas. But that being said, at the end of the day, if you want an accurate, well-designed, well-put-together multimeter from one of the biggest names in the electronics multimeter industry, hey, this meter is the one you're looking for. High quality build, yes, you're definitely getting that with this Sanwa. The Sanwa CD800F True RMS 6000 count multimeter gets a solid three out of five stars. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Sanwa Week continues. Lots of goodies coming up the next few days. I hope you're as excited as I am. And that's pretty excited. Hey, till the next one, keep on testing.